Hey, hi everybody, Mr. Stevens. Uh, our first test did not go that great. Uh, the grades were not as good as they could be, and uh, clearly there were some misunderstandings, or possibly some people that just weren't as prepared as they could be, uh, because their notes were not as good as they could be. All right, so let me go through it, and you can see what you did wrong. Question one asks for the LCM. You remember, LCM stands for least common multiple. Multiples you get by multiplying. It's the two numbers of 12 and 18. 12 times 1 is 12. 12 times 2 is 24. 12 times 3 is 36. 18 times tables are kind of hard, but 18 times 2 is 36. Aha, uh -huh. there's my lowest common multiple. A lot of you picked 6, which of course is a factor, not a multiple. Number two, simplifying a fraction. Most people got this one right. You need the greatest common factor. The biggest number that goes into both numbers is 4. 16 divided by 4 is 4. 20 divided by 4 is 5. The answer again is C. Next question, decimals. Adding decimals. The rule for adding decimals is line them up meaning line up the decimal points. So where does the 2 go under this 2? It has to be lined up because your answer will have a decimal point in line with the other decimal points. So 0 here, 8, 8, 4, 1. Again, most of you got that one right. All right, division with decimals. Everyone seems to have forgotten which one goes in the box. The first one home goes in the house. The first number goes in the box. So it has to be set up this way. Some people set it up backwards, which I could understand, but then the rule is move them over, move them up. So what do I need to add as a placeholder? A zero. So essentially now the decimals are gone. 25 is actually a pretty easy times tables because it's the same as a quarter. So I can say how many quarters are in this, but 25 goes into 45 once. 45 minus 25 is 20. Bring down the zero. Two dollars, how many quarters? Eight. The answer is 18. Not 1.8, not 0.18, just regular 18, no decimals. Number five, so many people got number five wrong. First thing I told you when you're adding and subtracting fractions is to rewrite the problem up and down. So much easier. Eight plus four is 12. Now all you have to do is the fractions. Some of you seem to have forgotten that. When you're adding and subtracting fractions, you need a common denominator. This one doesn't have to change because our common denominator is 8. Whatever you did to the bottom, you have to do to the top. 4 times 2 is 8. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 plus 3 is 5. 12 and 5 eighths. Simplest form, it already is simplest form. 5 is a prime number. It can't be simplified. All right, those are three points each. By the way, the whole test is out of 56. So they're a little bit... To figure out your grade, you have to convert the fraction to a decimal, but that's another story. Everybody asks, well, I only lost eight points. How come I got, it's what you got out of 56, not out of 100. All right, page two, subtraction. What should I do? Rewrite it up and down. What do I need to do fractions? Common denominator. What's the common denominator going to be? Nine. This one doesn't have to change again. This one does. Three times three is nine. One times three is three. Eight minus three is five. There it is. GCF. F stands for factor. Most of you did this in your head if you remembered that it was a factor and not a multiple. 7 times 6 is 42, and 7 times 5 is 35. There's my GCF. 
there isn't any bigger number. Six doesn't go into 35. Five doesn't go into 42. And 15 doesn't go into either one of them. The answer is seven. Let's see. All right, cookie jar with 20 cookies in it. Some of them are chocolate chip. Some aren't. Almost everybody who got it wrong picked 25. If the cookie jar has 20 cookies in it, can it have 25 cookies in it? No. How did you get it? By dividing. But it's not division. Because remember what happens in fractions. When you multiply a number by a fraction, it gets smaller. So it's just multiplying. Cross simplify, why not? 5 goes into 24 times. 5 goes into itself once. Multiplication of fractions is easy. Don't need a common denominator. Just multiply. 4 times 4 is 16. 1 times 1 is 1. 16 over 1 is 16. Some of you did this with a picture, which is fine. You divided the 20 cookies into 5 parts, which made 4 in each part, and then took 4 of them to get 16. That was excellent. That's the same idea. All right, reciprocal, inverse, otherwise known as the flip. All right, call it what you want. Turn this into an improper fraction. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 3 is 13. So this and that are the same thing. But if I flip this, 5 on top. The answer is D. Number 10. Dividing fractions. How do I know it's dividing? It has a division symbol. Keep, change, flip. Keep the two-fifths. Change the division to multiplication. And flip the three-fourths, making it four over three. Yeah, I think you can see the answer. Two times four is eight. Five times three is 15. A. All right, this ends part one of the corrections video. I'm going to split it into two parts, uh, part one, the multiple choice, and part two, the open-ended questions, which may take a little longer.